Now let's continue our coverage with Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed, who spoke with many Catholics who say that they're excited for the new Archbishop's leadership. Alicia? That's right. People from all walks of life came out to celebrate with the new Archbishop today. The cathedral was packed to capacity, leaving some people standing. Standing online, parishioners made their way to the cathedral early. Happy to be here and be supportive in prayer. Thousands packed the Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul. This is his study. Outside the new Archbishop's installation, families welcomed him in song. Archbishop Nelson Perez was raised in New Jersey and was the leader of three churches in the area. He's bilingual, and as the region celebrates his homecoming, they're hoping he will unify the church. I'm so happy because first one, he's Spanish, and I want to think about he helped to the immigrant because I have a lot of immigrants here. I think he'll speak to a very diverse uh, community here and all uh, inclusive community. I would like to see him bring the Hispanic people back to church. While families were here to enjoy today's service, there was one minor disruption during the mass. A man that calls himself Philly Jesus was told to leave after walking up to the speakers. After refusing, police physically removed him and wrote him a citation. We were the only TV station there. They took my feet, they grabbed my ankles, and then they grabbed my hands, and like like military style, like like I was some like uh, like I was some like type of terrorist or something, you know? Like it's horrible. I I was so embarrassed. Aside from that one hiccup, this was quite the homecoming. Amongst the thousands of people celebrating was the new police commissioner, Daniel Outlaw. Reporting live from Logan Square, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you. Now, we stream today's entire installation on CBSN Philly. If you missed it, you can rewatch the entire ceremony on our website, cbsphilly.com.